We are learning more tonight about the victims of the deadly explosion last night in Wilson County. A retired attorney was killed in that blast and his wife was critically injured. As investigators try to figure out who sent the deadly package, friends are remembering John Setzer and praying for his wife, Mary Ann. Fox 17's Erica Lathan joins us live from Lebanon with the very latest tonight. Erica. Well, Scott and Stacy, that explosion occurred here on Vance Lane at the home you see behind me. And you can see on the mailbox, the crime scene tape is still here. And in fact, police officers are guarding this house 24 hours a day now. Investigators say a package was delivered to the home Monday evening when it exploded. John Setzer was killed, his wife Marion critically injured and transported to Vanderbilt Medical Center. Friends say John was a retired Nashville attorney. He and his wife moved to Lebanon several years ago and were a big part of their church family. They've been here a few years, a retired attorney and his wife, and they've really been involved and active in the church since they've been here. Uh, Marion always seemed to have a smile on her face, very soft word for everybody. Um, John was a Sunday school teacher, you know, taught in his Sunday school class. So I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. An $8,000 reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest in this case. If you know anything, you're urged to call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Uh, in the meantime, uh, many of the residents here are shaken up by this. Uh, my colleague John Dunn spoke to several of them. Several neighbors say they're even afraid to open their own mailboxes tonight. You know, no one would have ever dreamt that this could have happened. The sight of several dozen law enforcement vehicles is not only unusual, but unheard of on Vance Lane. This is not the place for this kind of thing to take place. On a road where sheep and cows occasionally create excitement by getting out of fences, a deadly explosion is implausible. Everyone wants to know why. Why does anyone target anybody? I don't know. It's crazy. Neighbors have been told the Setzers received a package in the mail, which blew up inside their home. For some, the thought of checking their own mailboxes is now frightening. And of course, it makes us a little uh, anxious to go check our own mailbox uh, when we see something like this happen, because normally boxes are delivered, mail's delivered, you don't question it. Neighbors tell Fox 17 News officers went by each home Monday night and checked their mailboxes for devices. Tony Dedman says it's a lesson to be on guard. The world uh, around us keeps changing and it's moving faster and uh, things like this are much more prevalent it seems. That was a huge explosion. Other than wondering why someone would send an explosive device, the other question many are asking is will the bomber strike again? The sanity of uh, living out here and the wonderful place for children uh, has been scarred in some way by this tragic event. In Wilson County, John Dunn. Fox 17 News. Well, neighbors tell us that the Setzers were quiet, loving people who loved God and would do anything to help others. No one seems to know why anyone would want to hurt them.